But hey guys, I'm Benji. Today I'm going to be reviewing this tent from Big Agnes. This is the Fly Creek HVUL1. It stands for High Volume Ultralight One Person Tent. This also comes in a two person tent. This tent comes in weighing two pounds, six ounces, like this. And which is awesome about that is because this is not a trekking pole tent, it's a standalone tent, which means it has its own tent stakes on here. And um, we're gonna set it up for you and just show you how awesome this is. Let's get right into it. All right, so we're gonna get it out of here. Just gonna do undo all these cinches. Has a separate bag for the stakes or the uh, poles. Rain fly. All right, in the stakes bag, it came with, looks like 11 stakes, which is, that's a lot of stakes. And they're the, uh, let's see right here. Pretty cool design stake. Seems pretty uh, heavy duty. And then this is a emergency field repair splint. So just in case one of your uh, poles uh, break or something, you can use this. Pretty cool. Right, now we have our poles for the tent, which is pretty cool. They're color coordinated. They have a shock cord in here so that they all go into each other all on their own. Pretty cool. Then it comes to this hub right here where it's gonna branch off. And it's all connected. So uh, the silver, these tips here, they go in the front.
There you go, just like that. All right, I'm going to show you a little closer up. So your poles go into these little holes on the tent here, on the straps of these things. And the silver goes in the front, and you go to your hub here, and this was all connected. You didn't have to try to connect any of that. It's all connected with the shock cord. It goes all the way around to the back. It has a pre-bend in the pole right here, which is cool. All the way to here. So the orange goes in the back to the uh, orange hole right here. Right here. So kind of cool. All right, let's keep going. And then these uh, straps on the uh, tent, they just hook up here. Let me put my phone back on the mount. All right, so now we're gonna hook up the screened in tent here to this pole. Super easy. There you have it. Look at that, super easy. Okay, open it up here. Lots of space in there. Looks good. So now let's hook on the rain fly. All right, now we got this all set up, we're gonna throw on the rain fly. All right, there you have it. Then we let's open this up. There you go. I'm going to throw my sleeping pad in here, see how well she fits. There you go. Also has uh, extra string on the side if you want to pull it out even further. You can see this here. So you could attach this to a tree or something and get it even. Your brain fly more off your tent. So let's take a look around.
So you could attach these strings right here to uh, say this tree to make it a little even wider in there. Around here. Here it is from the back. Let's go inside. All right, I'm using the .6 camera so we can get a good wide angle as we're going in here. Plenty of room for my sleeping pad with way a lot of room at the bottom. Let's go in here, check it out. So one thing I like a lot is this uh, floating shelf up here. That's really cool. I think that's really neat. You can be able to put your phone up there or any other devices, maybe a headlamp or something like that. Um, and my feet have tons of room. I could put my backpack down there. Let's see over here, we have another compartment. You put some items. Up in the top, you have some uh, little loops up here. I mean, you could run a string across and be able to even dry some clothes or something while you're in here. Looking on this side of the tent, we have another one of these pockets, which are super nice. So you have three pockets in here, looks like total. All right, now I'm sitting up. I'm, here's the top of my head. Here's the top of the tent. Now I'm not a huge person, I'm five foot eight. I got plenty of headroom. I could see you know, maybe somebody who's I don't know, over 6'2". Might get a little close to the top up there, but a lot of headroom. It gets really high up. It is really cool. And then you can see, I don't, I don't know if you can see, the screen tent doesn't touch the rain fly. And you can even move it further away if you move these strings and attach it to something. Really cool. So you won't get wet in here. It has a nice bathtub here. So here's the floor to the top. Really nice. I like this tent. It's a good tent. Good one person tent. And for not being required to have trekking poles, awesome. Can't really go wrong. So, oh, y'all found another pocket. Look at this. Straight up, right here. Another pocket. You could put uh, maybe your phone up here. It has a headphone thing here. So you could uh, run a wire down. So I had previously said three pockets, there are four pockets in here. At least that I've found, maybe there's more. I don't know, that's what I've found so far. So, really like this tent. Let's uh, get back outside and take one more look. All right, so one more video of me going inside. Here it is, I'm sitting here talking to you pretty nice I like how this uh, door if it were shut you know you would have a lot of room out here you might be able to put a stove here be able to cook your food if it was a rainy day or something just don't want to get uh, too much heat near your rain fly though because you might melt it but it seems like that's a good option so a lot of room let me lay down this way so you guys can see All right, my head's all the way at the top now. And I got quite a bit of leg room left. And that was just an example. I wouldn't sleep that way because the tent goes down so far. But if I were to sleep this way, now my feet are at the end right now. They're kind of touching the uh, screen and I have a lot of room so if you're a taller guy uh, this is gonna fit you I would say probably up to uh, six five will fit in here pretty nicely um, so, so I like this tent it's a good one all right guys this was the big Agnes fly Creek HV UL1 this is my go-to tent. This is what I'm going to take with me on the Appalachian Trail. This is a really great tent for the money. It costs around $400 right now. And one thing I would like to note is that it does not come with a footprint. So you need to either make one or buy one. I think they were going for around $40 right now. 
So it's a Fly Creek HVUL1 bike pack tent. Using it for backpacking the Appalachian Trail. Great tent.